company. I suppose we could take the a the the a one term and we could say that that's actually equal to uh, b times a zero. Okay, <clears throat> it's 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 equal to b times a zero plus plus c, and we could break that up into two forms. You can see that we have these here. So this is a b to the one. Well. That makes sense because it's the it's the term at index one in this in, in in the sequence. But more importantly, on the the second the second term that we have grouping, yeah, you can see it's a C, it's a B C plus C, it's a B squared C plus B C plus C. You can see that we actually have a polynomial here. And the degree of the polynomial that we have, okay, so the indeterminants are C and the coefficients. So the, the, the C is just a constant, okay? But the polynomial now is indeterminate B, and you can see that the highest power, the degree of the polynomial is one minus the index of the term that we're looking for. It's a three here on for A4. It's a two here for A3. It's a one here, okay? It's a one here for A2. I suppose hidden in there, we probably have a B to the zero. We have a an effect of a, 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 b, a b to the zero, if that makes if that makes sense, yeah. Okay. So we can actually continue this down to the nth term. So the nth term, a n, is going to be equal to b times, well, it's b times the previous polynomial, okay? And don't forget the previous polynomial, so it's a n is equal to b times the previous polynomial that we had, yeah? And the previous poly, poly oh, <coughs> excuse, excuse me, the previous the previous polynomial that we had, yeah, it's this I'm looking at here. It's b times this, uh, is b to the three when it's four. So it's it's effectively b to the n minus one times a zero, okay, plus b to the n minus two, okay, times c plus b to the n minus three times c plus all the way down, okay, all the way down we're going to have a b squared term times c. We're also going to have a b times c, and we're also going to have the c. Okay, so that's the expansion in the nth term, and also we have the dangling c out the other side. So when we expand this out, we end up with the nth term a n is b to the n times a zero, plus b times b to the n minus two is b to the n minus one times c plus b to the n minus two times c plus all the way down, plus the b squared becomes b cubed, the b becomes a b squared c, and then the c multiplied by the b gives us a b c, plus what's dangling out here, which is a c. Now we can break this up into two, two groups. We have this term here, and we have this particular polynomial here, okay? Uh, with constant coefficients c. So we can take the c's out to our common, so we end up with a n is equal to b to the n a zero plus c times Okay, well, c times b to the n minus 1 plus b to the n minus 2 plus all the way down to uh, b squared plus b plus 1, okay? Now, the question now that we have is this, is that we're nearly there, okay? And we have the nth term, uh, clearly in terms of the coefficient of the a0, okay, raised to the power of n, and which we'll know when we're figuring out the nth term, and we know the base case. We'll also know the, the constant c because it'll be given in the recurrence. So the question that we have is what is going on here? Okay? Is there a way to sum up this particular power series? And there is. We have a closed form solution for this particular power series. And let's just explore it. Okay? So let's just explore this particular power series here. Okay? So we have, let's call it Sn. Okay? So we have Sn uh, is equal to we have, I'm actually just going to re, I'm going to re, uh, re, 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 uh, I suppose I say commute this, okay? I'm going to start with one followed by b, b squared, b cubed, all the way up to b to the n minus two, b to the n minus one, when I'm, when I'm listing out the terms of this series. So I have, it's one plus b plus b squared plus the b cubed plus all the way through to plus b to the n minus, minus two, okay? Plus b to the n minus one okay that's the power series that we have here as part of this particular as part of this nth term now in our generating functions we know how to solve these particular power series okay if i multiply sn by b so if i calculate b if i calculate bsn what i end up with is b times one becomes b b times b squared becomes b 
So B times B becomes B squared. B times B squared becomes B cubed. All the way through, every term is being shifted on by one position. So all the way through to the B to the N minus 2 would come from the previous term, plus B times B to the N minus 2 gives us B to the N minus 1, plus B times B to the N minus 1 is B to the N. Okay? So we have this, we have this particular uh, relationship here. And what we can do is we can sum across this particular relationship. Actually, let's subtract. What we're going to do is we're going to subtract this row from this row. So this becomes multiply across by minus 1. This becomes minus, 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 minus.